patient develops severe aortic stenosis with heart failure and chest pain, that is when we consider aortic valve replacement. For many, many years, the only viable option for our elderly patients was a surgical valve replacement. Um, it was either a mechanical valve or a bioprosthetic valve, pig or cow pericardium. Most bioprosthetic valves usually last about 10 to 15 years in a patient. And most of our patients have had surgery in the 70s or 80s. Some patients, when they reach that age, may not really be good candidates for open heart surgery. And even if they are, they may be a little reluctant, having already been uh, affected by one open heart surgery, to proceed with another. Well, a transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR, is a procedure where we use minimally invasive techniques to essentially replace a patient's aortic valve. TAVR technology is an excellent form of therapy for the treatment of failed bioprosthetic valves. In a minimally invasive uh, route, we are able to place a TAVR valve in the old surgical valve and relieve any kind of valve dysfunction. When a bioprosthetic valve fails, it could fail in one of two ways. It could become narrow because it's scarred and loses its mobility, or the valve is no longer competent. It doesn't seal when it closes. So you have blood that leaks back into the heart. You put this valve in and you see all the hemodynamic factors and the classic features of blood pressure and, and urine output just immediately get better. I think we're very excited about the option of having a less invasive redo valve surgery and it's actually something that we will discuss with patients now even the first time we see them when we realize they may or may not be candidates for a TAVR. Uh, at the outset. It's one of the most gratifying procedures we do in, in our field. This is going to be a fundamental cornerstone of TABR technologies, the treatment of surgical aortic valves that are failing.